Traditionally, when hurricanes happen, we had a hurricane party and we got really excited and we would prepare um, to, to kind of hunker down. Actually, as we were leaving, there were people on their porches, you know, having a party, drinking beer because, and you could see the dark clouds coming because that's just, that's just what you do. You have to have to throw a hurricane party and just kind of wait it out and see what happens. Two days prior to the hurricane coming, we um, got the news that from my husband that we should go ahead and evacuate, and we packed up three days worth of clothing and evacuated to Houston, Texas. At that time, we saw on CNN how much water was in the city, and so we decided that we couldn't come back home anytime soon. I remember coming up here and like getting our new house, like when we first, um, like when we came on 34th Street. I remember like it was nighttime and going up to see in our rooms and stuff. And I remember um, when we first came to Indy, we was in an apartment, right? Mm -hmm. We came in the apartment and then we eventually moved into the house. The city was allowing folks to come back in, in to, to see their property and we went down to see our house and I wasn't quite ready for what we saw. We had eight feet of water in our two-story home. The toughest part about it is, is not seeing, is not having closure on people that you that, that you knew. You know, it's, all, it's almost like a, lot, like a death. You know, you don't know if they're alive. Like, where are they? You know, what are they doing right now? I think that's the, that's the toughest part. 10 years does seem like a long time, but for loss, it's really not. Even though my life is a lot better here now than it was in New Orleans, I just, I miss home. All of my family is there. My parents are still there, my siblings and I, I miss those large family gatherings and fun times and I feel like we're just so far away. My husband better be happy that I love him because I would pack up my things <laughs> and I yeah, would she's move. Ready to, she, she, she would go down I miss home. in a heartbeat. But we try to get her back. I try to get her back as much as possible. There's a lots of growth there, um, lots of new opportunities. It's, it's a good time, but there's still folks suffering. The, the salaries are not you know, where they need to be. The school system is not where it needs to be. Even though there's some growth, um, you know, for folks just to realize that there's still a need for assistance in the city.